Growing up, I think I always knew I wanted to help people. Since I was like as little as I can remember, it's something that I've always thought was like super interesting. I want to be a good role model for, for females in general. I became a police officer because I wanted to help other people. I was actually kind of a juvenile delinquent. I kind of fought a lot and so I got involved in a scared straight program. So I actually did a ride along and after that I was just hooked. I grew up in South Central LA and a lot of crime, a lot of violence. And I remember seeing a D.A.R.E. officer, that was a female, it kind of sparked my interest. I'm like, hey, I can, you know, I can do that. When I had thought about wanting to be a police officer, one of the things that stood out the most to me was that I don't see a lot of women uh, in this profession and I don't see a lot of Hispanic women. I just felt like there needed to be a change and as maybe cheesy or cliche as may, people may find it to be, I truly thought, I could be, help make that difference. It really never crossed my mind at first, um, being a woman in law enforcement. Definitely didn't realize how few of us there were until you hear those numbers. I have a daughter who's 20 years old, so just showing her that you can compete with uh, this male-dominated career. Aurora Police took the 30 by 30 pledge. We want 30% of our recruitment class to be women by 2030. Well, when I first started doing research 30 by 30, um, I was excited because I knew at that time we had less than 12% women in this department. I believe by the Aurora Police Department pledging to the 30 by 30 that um, you know, women have a place here. Women, uh, from my perspective, being in training, we bring a different perspective and different experiences. We fill in some gaps. This is not about women being better police officers by any means. This is about a team effort, truly. You can see the difference when a female and a male officer are partners and they show up on scene the way that they're able to double team that call and, and kind of lean on each other and go back and forth on each other. Talking about how we're in the 21st century and there's only 11% of women coming in here, I think that we need to show more representation. One of the great things about APD is the fact that we do have a lot of opportunities. You can choose what it is that you, you like and don't like, um, what avenues that you want to take. And if you know you think you might like something, you try it out, you don't, that's fine. You can, you can reroute and go somewhere else and the opportunities really are endless. I think the main reason I love what I do, and especially being on patrol, is the reactions of people seeing me on patrol just where they feel like they can relate a little bit more. And I think we need to send the message that females are welcome here, that we are successful here, and there's space for us. We're excited about the 30 by 30 initiative, and we are not gonna stop. We can't do it without the people watching this video. It takes one at a time, and one at a time we're gonna get to 30% by the year 2030.